Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here with another zoo tour showcase. And today we're going to look at Wallfellow Park Zoo made by CJC91. The zoo opened in 1904, but has gone through several changes since then, giving it a mix between old and modern style. It's divided into five areas, Main Avenue, Bear Track, Water World, Bamboo Forest and the African Savannah. This zoo is giving me quite a low FPS and it's humongous. And what I saw, it, it started with an aerial view. It looks insanely good from the top. So this is going to be a very, very awesome zoo. I'm pretty sure of that. But regarding FPS, I'm going to try and, and pause the game um, at several points when I move around just to make sure that it's not like hurting your eyes or anything when you are watching this video and also for myself, of course. Uh, so yeah, if you have a finished zoo and you want me to check it out on the channel, please do read the description down below of how you can send me your finished zoo via email. And who knows, I might be able to show showcase your zoo as well on the channel. And a big thank you, of course, to CJC for sending this zoo to me. I'm very excited for this one. And if you want to check this one out yourself and rate it on Steam, go and click the link in the description to go to Steam and give it a thumbs up because that really does help people out, especially in the workshop as well. For others to see that there's a beautiful zoo to check out. But quickly, before we jump into it, let us thank our fantastic sponsor of the channel, Instant Gaming. At Instant Gaming, you can get your most favorite games with up to 70, sometimes even 90% discount. If you use the link in the description down below, you will get an amazing discount and you will also be supporting the channel. So whether you're looking for a discount on Planet Zoo, The Sims, City Skylines, Jurassic World Evolution, or any other game, go and check out the link down in the description. All right, we have this entrance area right over here. I really do like this. This looks really cute. I also really like the uh, the metal entrance that we just uh, walked through. Uh, it's it's just, I don't know, it's so zoo-ish style, but yet it, you can't really use it in so many different themes. It's like more of the classical theme, so I really love it that you used it. It looks absolutely amazing. I really do like that. All right, so we have some, some ticket booths here or no, we don't have ticket booths. So maybe, okay, wait, this is the official entrance. So here we have, oh man, just look at the style here. I really love this classical theme. This is going to be super inspiring for my city zoo. Oh, I love this. I really love this. Oh man, I really need to keep the game on pause as much as possible, unfortunately. So we have a sign here, African Savannah, Bear Track, Cassowary, Reptile House, Wheeling Hall. Oh, there's so many things here. Uh, this is going to be humongous. So we're gonna follow the right side, I think. Oh man, I love the statue here with the otters. That is just great. Really do love that. I love the foliage you used right over here on the sides. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, there's a shop. Is that like... Oh, wait, we can go in here. <laughs> it was a little bit hidden. Oh, just look at this. That looks so beautiful. Man, I keep seeing these lovely and amazing uh, uh, shops on the inside. You guys are so freaking creative. I really need to uh, start working on my uh, shops and... Um, interiors as well this looks absolutely awesome oh my gosh look at that oh, i love this that is just great i know there are a lot of things in the workshop as well that you can download so maybe you did download these i'm not entirely sure i don't really know i can't remember if i uh, saw any message in your uh, steam workshop that you did download a few of those little props and items but if you made them uh, definitely amazing work and I was props to the creator that made them. Oh, just look at this building here. That's just insane. Oh man, I love this. There's so much to see here, isn't it? Just look at this. Oh my freaking God, that looks beautiful. Oh my God, wait, okay. I'm, I'm gonna jump from one side to the other side here because there's just so much to see. This is a mandrel habitat. This is so good. 
Incredible work. I love the foliage work around here. This looks absolutely amazing. Oh man, just look at that. Okay, this is a greenhouse, a walkthrough habitat as well. So if we go through here, we have some pea files. Just look at this entrance. I love this, that is so cool. So we have a pea file right over here. Fits beautiful with the statue. <laughs> we have some view of axes here with some leaves falling, floating around. Man, this is so gorgeous. I really would love to play this uh, this map, but it's it's a little bit too laggy for my taste. But if you have a better computer than I have, definitely go and download this to yourself so you can uh, walk around it without any FPS issues. Oh, the foliage work is great here. I love the statues. This just looks amazing. Really nice and relaxing spot for guests to just sit down and chill and see some pea files walking around. I love that. Really great work. Really love this. Okay, so after the, or next to the mandrills, what do we have here? Oh, this def definitely gives me so many city zoo vibes also with this in between. Gosh, it's so good. I love it. This is great. Okay, we have a gorilla habitat right over here. You even paid attention to like, uh, like safety measures to make sure that the animals are not able to climb out and stuff. This is really, really good. I don't see any gorillas though. I think they're inside. Oh, this looks really good. Oh, you use so many statues. I love that. Really great work. Oh, we even have like this waterfall right over here. So beautiful, so peaceful. Really love that. Um, so we need to be careful that we're not missing out on anything. So we have the Earl of Pi. What is that? Oh my goodness, look at this. A real restaurant. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Oh, just look at that. You're so much better at interiors than I am. I can learn so much from this. This is so good. What amazing work. I love this. All right, we can go in here now. Oh man, I really do hope that I'm not going to miss out on any animals here. Is that like a uh, backstage? Look at this. That is so cute. What is that? Is that like where they grow plants and stuff? Oh, it is. The small little details, guys. That is so cool. Okay, we have some more signs here. We can go inside here. Oh, just look at this edges as well. Looks so good. Okay, let's go inside. Oh, man. Just look at this. So we can look inside of the gorilla habitat. I love that you added like this little light area right over here for some natural light as well in the habitat. Fortunately, I can't see any animals. Nope, they're, they're probably there, but I can't really see them. You can walk through here, by the way. Wait, where are you coming from? <gasps> what? There is a whole hallway here. That was unexpected. Oh my goodness, you even have exhibits on this side. This looks so cool. Wow, I love this. I love this edge here with the lights. Ah, oh, this is so good. Absolutely fantastic work. I'm so curious how this building looks from the top. Oh, just look at that. We have some gorillas here, finally. Uh, look inside. Oh, this is really, really great work. Well done. Really well done. I'm actually a little bit scared to follow this path because I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to miss out on any things on the other side. But I'm going to do my best to, to make sure that we uh, go back and forth and see what we're missing. I love this indoor section as well, with the green and stuff, that looks really nice. 
Really nice work. Well done. So what is on the other side, though? So you can walk through here. There are toilets in the middle. And then there's another endorser. Okay, we're just gonna, gonna look here. There are more exhibits on this side, on this side. It reminds me a little bit of my Riviera Hall, uh, or Rotted M Zoo Riviera Hall. No credits to me, <laughs> but to Rotted M Zoo. Uh, with like two different wings and exhibits in the middle. I, I could be completely wrong, but it, 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 it does remind me of it. Wow, look at that. We have uh, bonobos. Bonobos? Bonobos. <laughs> right over here. Really nice habitat as well. Indoor habitat. I'm guessing they also have this outdoor section on the other side. Look at all these decorations on the wall. Really do love that. Ah, so creative. Really creative. I love that. Oh, look. We have another... I don't know if we even know how to call it. Like, another wing of a wing. <laughs> I don't know. Just look at this. What do we have here? Oh, chimps, I think. I think these are chimpanzees. That's so cool. I really do love this. This is super inspiring. What you did here with the lights and the glass in the roof. That looks just great. Really well done. So now we go outside here again. No, wait, this was another building. This is another alley. And we came from here. Wait, is there more on this side? Oh my goodness, there is. How big is this building? That's insane. Okay, we have so. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, this is so creative. I love this. Incredible. Look at this. So we have some ring tilt lemurs here. Oh my god, just look at this habitat. There is so much to see here. I love the rock work and the tropical plants everywhere. There's another viewing gallery here. There's another glass wall here. This habitat is so inspiring. I love what you did here. This looks amazing. Fantastic. Well, really fantastic job. Gosh, I love this. Oh, look at that. So you can just go in here and have this little viewing from the inside, from the middle, I mean. This looks so cool. Oh, really well done. So then you go around, you have another uh, another window and another viewing from this side. What are you doing there, mister? Okay, all right, error. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's, it's even bigger? What? Orangutans? You're kidding me. This is so awesome. Not my FPS, but what you did here is so cool. I really love this. I I can I I know for sure how many of you that are watching right now are like, "Oh my god, this is so inspiring." Like this whole indoor building that you have with all the decorations and the round shapes and then the lights and the glass in the room. Ah, oh, it looks really, really good. It's really inspiring for me. I love this. Okay, so we have a proboscis monkey here as well. Just look at this habitat. Look at the backside. It's covered with rocks. There's like an opening right over here, which you can barely tell, which I like. So many climbing frames. Incredible work. Oh, this is really, really amazing. Just look at the, the, the windows here in the roof again for some natural light. Man, this is so good. What do we have? Oh gosh, don't tell me there's another. Is this outside? Oh my god, there, I'm gonna get lost in this building. Seriously. It's so big. Okay, wait, we have Lorraine's of Lemurs again here. Wait, did I maybe go around? Okay, so I just don't know where to go. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, wait, what is this then? Is this the gorilla? I think so. Okay, I think we should go outside and just check the building from the top and just see. Yeah, this is where we entered. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Just look at this humongous building. That is absolutely fantastic. My goodness. This is so good. Wait, is this the orangutan area? So this is the lemurs then? If this is the orangutan, then it's correct what I'm saying. Yes, this is the orangutan habitat. So yeah, okay, that makes total sense then. So then you have like the, the, the ring-tailed lemurs and stuff right over here, proboscis monkey. Yeah, I think we've seen it all except for like these outdoor habitats, but I think we will see those in a later stage. So this is where we came from. Uh, this is that little restaurant. This, yes, okay. So we just continue our trip right over here. So we have some reindeers here. Oh, that's such a cute habitat. I love the rock work and the foliage. I'm gonna go through the fence for it just a bit. Love the little rocks here and the little bushes. That looks really good as well. Really do like that. Very nice habitat for some reindeers here. Not like super, uh, like a lot of terrain or anything like that, but just perfect for them. I love that. What do we have here? No entry. Okay, we won't. We won't. And then we have... Uh, ooh, I think it's a pronghorn antelope. I think so. Also, the same as like the, the reindeer habitat, just a very nice habitat for these lovely creatures as well. You're gonna do huggy or not? Are you? What's that? I can't see if you touched it. I think so. I think you used it to, to rub yourself. This is really nice as well. Really love like the this foliage work and how you make sure that your path like, like, this is not your main path. So this is the main path, and you have, like, this extension right over here to make sure you don't have any bottlenecks when guests are looking at the animals. Uh, I just really do love that. I love this little statue here as well. You really use a lot of the statues, something I should do more often. I see how you use it, and I'm like, oh, I love, I love how you use that. I always think too difficult of, like, I need to make something awesome to make sure that I can add a statue, but you don't really have to. So this is the orangutan outdoor area, I think. Just look how cool that looks. Really very nice work here as well. And it's super lush for all the animals, super tropical. That looks really good. I love the rock work here as well with like the moss and stuff on top of it. Super natural. So this is a wolf's forest. Oh, just look at these little statues right over here. See these things. Like, I think these are the same statues and this is a different statue. But I will be like, oh yeah, I'm not going to use that because it's a different statue. But it doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't. It just works. Sometimes you just need to have to do it. So we have two different, oh, look at these, that's so cute. Two different viewing galleries. So one over here with this beautiful rock work right over here with the cave I'm assuming for these, uh, for the wolves, the timber wolves. Love the rock work here as well with like the foliage on top of it and stuff. That's really nice done, really well done. So what is on the other side then? Oh, look at that. Oh, I love this little peek through. It's like more dense here, less dense in the middle, a water section so you can even see them swim. Look at the rock work here. That is so good. Very natural, very realistic. I really do like that. So now you can go underneath here. Oh, this is so good. It's like the, 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 the tree trunks and stuff underneath. And now you go over the bridge. Look at this, the elevations. Super inspiring work, really well done. Very beautiful, super lush. Really love this. 
And you have another viewing gallery here. I love it that nothing is the same. So I, I can't really tell, but it doesn't look like you just were like, oh yeah, okay, another viewing gallery. I'm just gonna copy paste anything. You know what I mean? Everything you 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 paid attention to with everything you put in like the small little details and stuff. I, I love that. Really super creative. Like this makes sense to have the same style as over here because because it's like super close. So I do really get that, but it, it's not the same as like these areas. If that makes any sense. Gosh, I really love how you did these fences. Are these the mesh fences that we got? The new fences? I think so. No, it's not. You made this yourself. Oh, that's so good. Oh, wait. Yes, there we go. <laughs> this is really, really good. Um, yeah, I went to the menu, so I can't go down for just a few seconds. Can we? <laughs> Can we go down now? Come on now, game. Yes, there we go. This looks so good. I love the fences here. That works so well. It's just such a beautiful viewing here into the Hamatad. I really, really love this uh, Timberwolf Hamatad that you made here. So beautiful. And so diverse with the water, different height elevations, and the rocks. It's 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 really good. Definitely great work. So we have a llama farm. Are we missing out on anything if we walk through here? There is one building right over here. This is the Timberwolf habitat. There is a building right over there. Oh my goodness, just look at this. Oh my god, I'm gonna love this so much, but how... Okay, well, we're gonna go through and then we're gonna follow this path as well. Um, let's just go in here. This is gonna be the llama farm, but it's a doll sheep. Well, I love doll sheep as well. Oh, just look at this. Gosh, the rock work. You did exactly what I keep saying to people. The doll sheep is so cool you have to get the doll sheep because they can climb and jump on rocks see there it goes there it goes i love the doll sheep because of that because of that extra little bit of of mechanics that makes them so interesting to make habitats for i really do like like the doll sheep all right so we should see some llamas here a llama farm the llamas oh you can also see them from this side as well yeah we're definitely gonna follow that track once we saw the llama farm just look at this oh man this is so good so creative look at that indoor uh shelter area right over here we have some brown snobby llamas here ladies and gentlemen oh there's a white one here as well i actually had no idea we had like complete brown ones I remember the spotted ones, maybe light brown ones. Man, I'm so happy to see that there are so many more. So many more colors here. I had no idea. Yeah, th these are the, the ones that I remember. I had no idea there were so many different ones still. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Frontier. Thanks for doing that. I really had no idea. Maybe they added that later. Maybe I'm just blind. That could be. But man, this habitat looks really, really good as well. Amazing work. Yeah, let's go out here and follow this path. Because there's still so much more to see, I feel. And I really don't want to miss out on anything. This is really such great work. Just look at this. Look at the rock work here. That is just insane. And if I'm correct, all the doll sheep can just, on most of these rocks probably, can just jump here on it. And ugh, that's, I, I just love that. The foliage work in a rock work is just incredibly good in this whole habitat. Really, really inspiring. Really well done as well. I, I just love it. Oh, we have the bear track. The bear track. See, that's why we uh, went back here because we need to follow the bear track. So, what do we have? Lower track, Dulce Llama. Okay, so Dulce and Llama are basically included here. 
There's an exit. No, we don't want to exit. My goodness, just look at this. Wow. How is such are just getting better and better? Such beautiful work here. Really, really gorgeous. That the oh, the trees and the rocks, everything just looks perfect. Absolutely amazing. I'm speechless. This looks so gorgeous. Okay, so this is the other side of the doll. Just look at this viewing here. With that building, with the rocks here. This is so good. Absolutely fantastic. I really do like it. What's that? Okay, that was a light. My goodness, this is so gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. So... Oh, look, you even have like this waterfall right over here. This is so inspiring. You know that I want to make like this bear forest in, in a city zoo? I might use this as inspiration for that. But I need, maybe need to make it bigger then. <laughs> oh, this is a Formosan black bear. I was already wondering like what kind of animal would this habitat have? Because I didn't see a bear. Maybe I'm just blind. You guys are probably seeing a bear. But I don't. I really don't see a bear. Nope, I really don't see a bear. But it's alright, it's alright. What a beautiful habitat here. Oh, there is a bear. See, we spotted one. We spotted one. It's just so gorgeous. Really beautiful work here. And then, what do we have? Oh, just a peek throughs here. That looks just gorgeous. Oh man, this, this, this zoo is really, really good. Really enjoying it so far. This, this habitat as well. Like, just how? This is a sun bear, I think. I think there's some bear in here. Oh yeah, there's one as well. I love the viewing galleries from here. I love just the viewing in general, like with the different height elevations. It's so, so good. There's a bear sign. This is, uh, do we need to follow this on this side? I think so. I think, I think so, yes. Okay, so we're going to follow this bridge. Beautiful bridge. Also, we do have to mention that. We have a beautiful waterfall on this side. And then we go here. We have the Formosan Black Bear uh, Cave right over here. Oh, this is so good. This is really, really good. And then we have a Sun Bear Cave as well on this side. Man, this is lovely. I love the rock work here as well. Wait, who? Oh wait, this is for people falling down. Well, would be very dumb if so, but yeah, that's there. <laughs> that's that. What do we have here? What bear? It's a brown bear. I'm not really sure if it's the grizzly. It might be the grizzly. We do have a sign on this side. I I don't really know. It's a gatti baro. I th I. Th Ursus Oct no, no. I think I think it's uh, it's the grizzly bear. That's my guess. Just look how beautiful this water looks as well with all the water lilies. Oh, how inspiring! Such a beautiful, beautiful bear track. Really love this as well with the enrichment item here on this little island. I wonder if this is made before or after. Ah, this is probably... Yeah, well, I don't know. You don't have to make it deep enough for them to dive, of course. But it could be before the update. Oh, this looks so beautiful, doesn't it? The nature all around these, uh, these paths looks insanely good as well. Really well done. I'm really inspired by this whole zoom. It looks just so gorgeous. The rock work, everything. 
I keep saying it, but it just, it's, it looks insanely good. Really, really beautiful. All right, let's go here. All the viewings are just good. What is that? Is that like a hippo habitat or elephants? Can't say. Uh, may, might be hippos here. I'm not really sure. It might be rocks. I uh, made that mistake <laughs> once when we did like a community zoo tour in the Netherlands, like a real one. And then they were like, oh, do you see the rhinos? No, I only see some rocks. And those were rhinos. But yeah. <laughs> Oh man, this looks so good, this viewing from here. And then you can have like some 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 food and drinks on this side. And then continue your path right over here. With more what is this? The sun bear on the other side, probably. Some great viewings. You really don't have to worry that you are not seeing the animals in this zoo. You really paid attention to everything. Just look at this as well. I love these small little details. That's just so good. The plant is right over here. Super inspiring. So we look down in the grizzly bear habitat here. This is amazing. I love the different height elevations with the path as well. You did such an excellent job on this on everything so now we get back to yeah okay so that's why you have the exit so it's it's just a one way oh man this is so good really well done cjc my goodness i really do love this all right so we had the wolves forest now we continue here we went into the llamas farm did we miss out on anything no this is the wolf habitat and now we get to the sides of the orangutan. We have seen that one. So now we've oh, just, just so it's just connected so well and so properly. I, I, I can't see and if everything just it matches so well. It's, it's all connected so super well. It's, it's amazing. It's really, really good. Okay, what do we have here? We have some kangaroos. We love some kangaroos. I'm gonna go like this for just a bit because of the uh, the fences. I love these fences, don't get me wrong, but looking through them in Planet Zoo is so different from real life. If you know what I mean, like if, if you're in real life, for some reason you, you're just focusing on what is behind the fence, but you can't, I don't know, for some reason I can't really do that with Planet Zoo. So I always just peek through. <laughs> But really good habitat as well. I really do like this one. A little bit more Australian with some Australian bushes and stuff. I like that. So wait, is this a cassowary? Oh yeah. Oh, wow. This is so good. Just look at the viewing here. It's just perfect. Everything just feels picture perfect. It's really, really good. And it's a... Oh, I love that, that it's like... A little bit raised. Is there a fountain here? You kidding? Like this path is raised for this viewing gallery, but this path is lower. Just how? I just... I need those things in my zoos. It's really, really good. Ah, oh, this is like a stables for, for the uh, kangaroos as well. Really, really awesome. Well done. Yeah, I really love this. This is super inspiring. Uh, what is that? I think these are dingoes, right? I think so. Oh, man. Again, your rock work. The water right over here. Oh, that's so good. Wait, I say dingo, but... What? Eh. Can I click you? A doll, that's it. I was like, something is something is wrong. Something is wrong. This does not look like Dingo. It's a doll. It's a doll correcting myself. 
but probably uh, 10 of you already uh, posted. It's not a dingo, it's a doll. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I love the rock work here as well. Gosh, I keep saying it, but it's just really, really good. It's really good. Just look at this here as well, how you covered this. It's just amazing. Where are we going, by the way? Oh, look at this viewing gallery as well. Inside the doll habitat. Okay, I'm going to follow this path first, I guess. We're going to go up again. This is so inspiring with all these different height elevations. Oh, wait, huh? This is the bear track. The other side, there's an exhibit here. Until to where? Oh, this is a sun bear cave. Oh, it's not one way. Oh, yes. All right. We went to there. Oh, that's perfect, actually, that there's like another path. I think that that works better, indeed. I was already wondering why there was no bottleneck if it w would have been only one path. Just how you did this with the staircase. It just looks so good. Really looks amazing. I love that. Uh, what do we have here? Another beautiful viewing gallery. Oh my goodness. You people are so creative. So inspiring. Absolutely amazing. I see hippo statues. Was I right? That these are hippos. I think I was. Just look how beautiful this looks. I love how green the water is, by the way. I'm guessing that you call it the water. I don't know, it looks it looks perfect for this biome. I don't see any hippos though. There's like this whole oh there we go. Just look how good this looks. Really nice viewing right over here. Really nice work. I love the rock work here as well. Oh, this is really good. I keep saying it. I keep repeating myself 100 times throughout this whole video probably, but I don't care. I'm so much enjoying this zoom. I don't see giant otters. Where are they? I thought there's a little pool right over here. Would they have like a uh, more... Yes, see, there we go. Look at that. It's actually a little bit orange here. Oh, look. It's funny how it looks way too orange from the top, but here it's all right. It's, it doesn't really matter. A nice waterfall here. I love it that the guests can, uh, can view the otters here with an underwater viewing gallery. That's just so cool. Some smaller ones as well. They even have this toy. Yeah, that this is just really good. Really, really well done. So what do we have here? Another viewing gallery for the water. Uh, what side shall we go now? Did we miss out on anything right over here? So we have the hippos and the giant otter. I, I don't think so could be wrong wait what is that we have some flamingos right over here oh <gasps> look at that building that's so cool oh with these enrichment items right over here oh wow that is awesome a fountain right over here this looks really really good and on this side we have another fountain oh wow um, water world. All right, let's go and follow this. Let's go and follow this and go to this building here. Gosh, this is so cool. I wonder what's underneath here. There, there should be some kind of viewing gallery as well. Looking at the cave that is underneath here. Oh, the viewing is so cool. Oh man, just look at that. Isn't that awesome? I love this. I really love this. Just going through the whole zoo. That's amazing. So they have like a shelter area right over here as well. Oh, this is for the keeper. Oh, that's so cool. All right, let's go inside. We have a restaurant. 
Wait, is there a path going down? No, that's a toilet. I want to see what's underneath here. There should be a path somewhere, but it's not here. Okay, 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 okay. We, we will patiently wait. We will find it. We will find it. Beautiful viewing. I love that. Okay, maybe around here. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, look. These little peek throughs. Love it. Love it. Okay. Look at this. Gosh, you're so creative. You are so creative. That is just so cool. I wonder if they use these enrichment items, how you use it here. But this is, the, I think, the most creative way I have seen someone use these enrichment items. This is super inspiring. I love it. I love it. This is definitely something I need to keep in mind for the future if I ever want to use... I never use them. I never use them because I, I always have a hard time with how I should use them. And now you are like, oh yeah, here you go. Awesome way of using these enrichment items. I really have so much inspiration thanks to this zoo. Really beautiful work. Arctic wolves. Let's go in here. I love this building as well. Very nice building. Oh my goodness. Just look. Just look at this. You did it again. A beautiful, gorgeous habitat. This time for some Arctic wolves. Really, really stunning work. Really love this. And you also have this outdoor section. Oh, just look at this waterfall. It's so good, isn't it? It's so beautiful. Amazing work. All right, let's go here. More viewing galleries on this side. Your foliage work and rock work is just so on spot. Really do love this. So we have a... Whoa! <laughs> With the world. Oh, I love this. So this is uh, some kind of shop as well. Or restaurant it is. Is there like... Okay, no, there are toilets in the backside. Oh, really nice work. Um, do... I'm gonna go up again. I don't want to miss out on anything. Okay. This is the Arctic Wolf habitat. And the flamingos. We came from there. So I think... Did we miss out on anything here? This is the hippo building. Can we also have a look into the hippo building? I don't think so. Arctic wolf. So we go here. No, that is the backside area. Okay, no, we did not miss out on anything. So we're just going to follow this path. And just see where this will lead us to. I think there's like this big water section. I'm not really sure if it was penguins or seals. Penguins! Yes, we have a viewing gallery here. That's really nice. Some, some small little viewing galleries. Oh, look at this also. Oh, that looks so good. Water world. Oh my goodness. Look at the rock work underneath the water. This looks really good. Really like this habitat as well. Wow. Such great work. You can go all the way around it, see the penguins on top of here as well. And then we have seals, so both seals, oh man, both seals and penguins here. Such amazing work. I really do like this uh, whole water world area that you did here. Fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Look at this, guys. Just look at this. There is also another water area right over here. Are there more seals? Or is that maybe just one big area? That is so cool. Okay, we're gonna follow the path. There's another viewing gallery from here. And some more on this side. And there we go down. Yes! Oh my god, look at this with all the beams and stuff. That is so good. Oh. 
This is so cool. Wow. Super impressive. I love it that it's like humongous. It's really big. It's really long and high. I don't know. I just really like that. It's really impressive. Oh, this is really, really cool. Well done. Uh, we have another viewing gallery here. Wow. Really, really well done. Oh my goodness, we have a polar bear viewing gallery here as well. Just look how huge this is. Oh wait, this is the viewing gallery for the polar bears. Oh, and now I see it. It, it was not a seal though. It's a polar bear. Oh my goodness, this is so cool that you have that on the water viewing gallery. I actually, if this polar bear is going back here or going here, I definitely want to go back to the underwater viewing gallery. But I doubt it will. But it's one of the most fantastic things to see, like the, the polar bears dive in real life. Obviously, it's it, it's not the same in Planet Zoo. Sorry, I love Planet Zoo, but diving polar bears in the wild, in the wild, in, in a zoo, it's just such a fantastic experience. It really is. Oh, I love this building as well. So you have, wait, what? Oh my God, that's huge. Oh, look at that. Oh, you really went for some realism here with like all the, the plaster pieces and stuff. So this, this probably is from maybe a little bit back in the days where you uh, had more concrete in polar bear habitats. <laughs> But really, really cool. Really inspiring how you did this. Really well done. So this is the, uh, the seal viewing gallery. Oh, I like that as well. What a great area, this water world area. Very nice executed. I love this. Oh wait, these are the African penguins. Oh my goodness, just look how beautiful this looks as well. It's humongous. It's so beautiful. What? Look how gorgeous this looks. It's, it's like a little bit like Atlantis. Oh my gosh, look at this with the islands and stuff. That looks so impressive. As he can swim underneath. Oh, we need to go on the water here. This looks so beautiful. I'm sorry. I just don't want to look through the glass. This is such a beautiful habitat. And it's huge. It's absolutely humongous. And so tropical and lush and beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. Definitely one of my favorite habitats I've seen so far from the African penguin. They don't have an underwater viewing gallery, do they? Oh, they don't. Oh my god, people are missing out. Is there one here? No, it's not. You should make one. It's so gorgeous. Just look at this. On the water is absolutely stunning as well. The top and on the water, both are just picture perfect. Super impressive, really well done. If only the zoo wasn't that big, I would add like hundreds of African penguins in here. But PCs might burn from that if they are so big. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Oh, these are the, yes, okay, we went there. These are the king penguin habitats. So yeah, making sure you don't have bottlenecks here. Really, really well done. Gosh, this is such a beautiful habitat. I don't know, maybe even my favorite from this whole zoo together with the wolves, but there's so much to see here. It's really, really well done. Really great work. Some camels. Rudy, you're represented here as well. Nice habitat with like nice, nice little pool. Can I actually enter this? Not really sure. Maybe they can only drink here. I'm not really sure if they 
swim. I, uh, Rudy, can you swim? I don't know. <laughs> uh, really nice habitat here as well. That looks great. Am I missing out on anything? Let's read the sign. We have not seen the feline hall yet. Bobby Rusa have not seen that one yet. African Savannah. I think we should go here first. And then uh, then go for the African Savannah. Just look at this cute little park right over here. Where you can just sit down and relax. Super inspiring. Love this. These are basically like filling the gaps, but then in an interesting way. I just fill them up with like trees and bushes everywhere. <laughs> Uh, bamboo forest, bear track water world. Wait, no, this is the flamingos. So we should go to this side. Maybe we can follow this path with the bison. Oh, what a nice habitat here as well, by the way. I like this with a little wall right over here. Oh, and on this side as well, ladies and gentlemen. That is very realistic. I do really like that. You can't you can barely tell. You can barely tell you stand here. Oh, that is so smart. That looks so good. I also love this shelter building. It's simple, but looks really good as well. Here are some felines. So we're gonna gonna see some big cats. And I think it starts here. I think it starts here. So then we have some lions here. Oh, I really do like this. It does remind me of the, the uh, again, of the predator building from Rotterdam Zoo. Ah, oh, this looks so good. You can really tell that this, this is probably from the older stage of the zoo. I do really love that. How beautiful. Again, so lush. What do we have here? We have some Bengal tigers. Oh, oh, it's gonna swim. It's gonna swim with my low FPS. Okay, I'm gonna stand still. Oh, this is such a beautiful habitat as well. It's so lush, really do like that. They also have an indoor area. I, I really would love to see that. So I think I'm just gonna go around this habitat. Uh, or don't they? Wait, what? Can we see the inside? There are toilets here. Not really sure. A little restaurant area here. Ah, oh, look at this fountain with the little elephant statues. That's so cute. Wait, okay, oh, look at this. Oh, I love this viewing. I really love that you added this in your zoo. That's probably in the, in the center of the zoo. There we go, there we go. Okay, we have the indoor area right over here. Some fantastic work. Oh, Cloud Leopard is in here, guys. Just look at this. Watch and learn how you can do interior zoo uh, habitats. This is definitely super inspiring. Such great work. It's so lush. It's so beautiful. But also just in general, just take a step back and, and look how this is put together. Like, not only how everything is put in the habitat, but just how these things are connected. And, and I think you did a fantastic job on that. Absolutely amazing. Wait, what is this? Is the Bengal tiger? Yes, this is the Bengal tiger area from the inside. I love I love the idea that you have this indoor feline building and on the outside. That looks really cool. I really do like that. And on the other side is probably some West African lines. We're going to look at this building from the top as well because I'm just super curious. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love the difference. You have one super tropical area and this is like more dry, I, I, more cavey. Oh, this is really good. I love the difference you made. 
absolutely amazing wait is there one here yes there's one lying there okay wait we're gonna go outside but we're gonna gonna look at this building from the top just to show how this is put together this is so good so well made so you have habitats around it okay we're gonna do a little bit like this i think i think what you show is that you're your building what i always think is like your building has to be like a fantastic shape or anything like that but no one is looking from the top everyone is just walking underneath here so this building just looks good and you have a fantastic interior and and basically more freedom because you're not paying too much attention to how the building looks from the top you know what i mean i i really love this uh, you did really such a great job on this whole feline building as well. So what do we have here? Look how big it still is. There's just so much to see. It's insane. Uh, so this is the entrance. Uh, oh, wait a second. Oh, I want to see that. This is the primate hall, the entrance that we did not see. That looks so good. Wow. That looks really good as well. Really do like that. Okay, so we have a Komodo dragon. Ooh, wow. Also love that. You have like these planters in the middle and then you have a viewing gallery right over here. Even separated. I do really like that. With some, some signs here. Oh, wow. What a beautiful habitat as well. Is that Komodo dragon gonna use that? It's not very, very fast, <laughs> but I've never seen it. I want to see how you're going to use that. If you're going to use that, I'm not really sure. I never, I don't think I ever use these. Oh no, you're just going to sit down. You're going to look at it. Well, never mind then. Never mind. But what a great habitat here as well. Really, really beautiful. Really well done. Okay, let's go to this side now. We pass along the West African lion habitat. And then we have a reptile house. Right, go in. Let's go in here. Look at this. Underwater viewing for some caimans, dwarf caimans, I apologize. Oh, this looks so good. I love the different height elevations and the planters. Well done on this habitat as well. Not really sure if they have a, yeah, they probably do have like this, this land area as well. Wait, what? Tortoise? Where? Where is a tortoise? I don't see it. Let's see. It's, it's, it's huge. Oh, look at that. There is a tortoise. I really love how, how the whole classical theme is implemented in the zoo, but you can tell definitely what is like newer areas and what is like from the older buildings. This is definitely from the older building. I just really love that, that variation you brought in here. So these are, oh, they're now monitors. Oh, look at this habitat as well. Very pretty. Still with like these level elevations, the rock work here, the different rocks you use, by the way. I would not very quickly choose that, but it works super well. I should actually do that. How awesome this looks. Oh, yes, we're going to have more of these round shapes again. I love that. This is probably the dwarf caiman. More land area. Do we see them? Oh, there's one in the water. There's one. Such great work. Really fantastic work. Ah, oh, this is so good. Now monitors, there's another viewing gallery for the saltwater crocodile here. That's really cool. This is probably also deep enough. Wait, how many habitats did you do? Wow, okay, okay. We're, we're on our way for a new DLC. So the last you'll see was the Africa pack. Before that were most diving animals. So, okay, no. I just feel like it, it has only been a few weeks ago, but I'm just, I'm just a fool. 
I um that doesn't make any sense. It's been a long while, so you had quite some time to work on this zoo for sure. That's just me. <laughs> really, really well done. Oh man, you did such a great job here on these buildings. Very creative. Uh, do we have this other side here as well then? Because there is a tortoise. Uh, what do we have here then? Oh, some more exhibits. All right, some desert exhibits. Uh, just some open areas and some planters. Perfect. Wow, this was so cool. Oh, we actually went around here. Again, just have a look at the outside. Wait a second, what is that? We want to check that. But just have a look from the top here. This is so, so good. Wait, this is the entrance, right? And we right away went to the right. Okay, then I'm going to skip the aviaries because I think that is something that we're going to see when we completely finished everything. But we we still need to check the Savannah. And I think we should start that... Wait, what is this on this side? Oh, copies. I totally missed out on Okapi's here. There is an Okapi. What a nice habitat. They can even have a swim here, can't they? There's a little staircase. Oh, I really do like this habitat as well. That looks really nice. There's even an indoor building. Let's go and check that out. If we can, at least. I'm not really sure. Okay, yes, yeah, so we have seen this. Okay, let's go back here then. And just follow the savannah because I think that that is the only thing that we haven't seen yet from this zoo. And just go this way. I think. <laughs> I think we will go to the African savannah from here. This was... What is this? Oh, this is the other side of the Okapi habitat. So you have another viewing gallery. But they have quite a big habitat, so they can, they, they're they pretty shy, so they can just uh, relax and hide if needed. So I do really like that. And then we go right over here, African Savannah, Waterhole Cafe. Oh, look at the cafe. That looks really good. Oh, that's so cute. I really like this. Gives me a, I don't know why, it gives me a little bit of Disneyland vibes for some reason. Looks really cute. Uh, Niala Spahayina, let's just follow this path right over here. Wait, what is that? Oh, this is the Niala habitat. I love what you did here with the fencing, or like the beams, like it's not really fences. These are fences and these are fences, but I love what you did there. That looks really good. And we have a bongo. Oh, there's also bongos in here, or is there bongos in here? No, these are hyenas. These are hyenas. Oh man, this habitat looks so good. Different height elevations. That is just perfect. I love the, the awnings you made here as well for some shade for our guests. Oh, you can definitely tell that you used the Africa pack already here with all the beams, uh, which, which are recolorable as well. And these little towels. But what a great habitat as well. Really like the different height elevations. It's so realistic. And they can go here to some backstage area, I am guessing. So then, some African elephants. Oh my goodness, look at that. They have such a nice space here. A beautiful waterfall here with some rocks. Very realistic, like you won't really see that much in a uh, African elephant habitat. Wait, we have a, a, some warthogs? Some naughty, naughty warthogs. Oh, oh, look at this. That's so beautiful. I love this viewing with like the different height elevations with the elephants right over here. And then some naughty warthogs right over here. With a cute little waterfall. What a beautiful habitat for some warthogs. Really like that. Okay, elephant. We can go inside here as well. And warthogs. Oh, look at this. A little hallway with a little peek into the 
area of the elephants or oh, like that. Oh, and then you have like this bigger area here to have a good close up viewing with some elephants. That is so nice. That is really nice. I do really like this. So, wait, what is that? So, some more exhibits. This is the other side of the elephants, I'm guessing. I think you have a bigger habitat. Or maybe you have two separate habitats. That could also be. Like, sometimes you see that, that you have... I think it's like the males separated from the females. I'm not really sure, actually. I remember there was a zoo that had that, but maybe that was only because for before introducing a new animal so they could split it up. I don't know exactly. If you remember why zoos sometimes have different areas, do let me know in the comments down below. I, I think there, there are more zoos, the more I think of it, that have these areas that they could potentially separate. I'm not really sure if this one is separated though, but yeah, it is something that zoos do sometimes so, so so there must be a, a logical explanation for it also notice this really like this you will barely notice it if you stand here but i like i like how you fill that up oh look at this we have some giraffes on this side also the rock work here again to make sure that they're not escaping i love that I really love that with the grass. That's so cool. These are all the animals that are in here. We have some gems box and some um, ostriches. And this one could be spring bog. I think it's a spring bog. I'm not entirely sure. Really nice habitat for these guys. Uh, okay, wait. That is the elephant. So we're going to go and follow this side then. Um, what do we have right over here? We have the right rhino and um, mm, I want to say black wildebeest, but it's it's in the, I'm not really sure. American bison. I'm not really sure what it is. It's all right. I want to check it though. <laughs> black wildebeest. I thought like the the black wildebeest on the picture was a little bit more brown, too brown. They look more 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 black to me. Oh, really nice that you added these two together in this habitat as well. And then we have more black wildebeest. Oh, look at that. I love these little shades right over here. That's really cute. This little pond and the flowers here around this, this area or around the fencing. That looks really nice as well. Really well done. Looks all so... Well detailed everywhere. So we have this little viewing gallery here as well. I like that you added this. Just a little bit more up close here to the animals and the white rhinos, of course. Some beautiful creatures. And then we go to here. You can see the other side of the giraffes. Also really nice. And then, what do we have? What is that building? I want to know. Maybe we already saw it, but I don't think so. The riverbed, it's called. Oh, you have some stable. Oh, that's really cool. That is really cool. The stables on the inside. Giraffes and the ostrich, super up close. All the animals passing by here. Some more stables here. Oh, I love this. I really love it that you added that. Oh, look at this. You can also be very up close here with some giraffes. That is really cool. And then we have some toilets here. Yes, <laughs> there are toilets. Look, we now get to that building. I want to see what's inside. We started here. This is that restaurant building. Desert Dome. Ooh, look at this entrance already. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, love this. The Fennec Fox. Yes. 
Oh, what a cute habitat for them. So I'm guessing we're also going to see some meerkats. I'm curious if you have any other animals in here as well. Oh, but this is so inspiring. Just look at this. More fennec foxes on this side. Great rock work. Some, some caves here and some cave viewing. Just look at the buildings here on top. Ah, oh, love this theme. That is so cute. I really do like that. So, wait, is this an art park or something? Could be. Oh, no, wait, is this a Gams box? Oh, maybe I, um, yeah, I think this is the Gams box. So, the other one was the Sable Antelope, probably. Haven't really placed these guys down too often. I should, because they're beautiful. What a beautiful habitat as well, by the way. Really love this all. I love the whole theme of this dome. Absolutely amazing. So now we go inside here. And there's a meerkat statue. We're getting closer to meerkats, I hope. <laughs> Yay! Oh, this is very small cave viewing. With two layers even. Oh, that's really cool. That is really, really cool. So they can go in here. And then have two different layers. We, oh, we should actually just have a look at that from the inside as well, I feel. Just to see how you did that. So you have rocks going up here. Oh, I love that. You have two different viewings top layers it's like a little bit like the feeling like you're looking into the ground or anything like that i i totally got what you're trying here oh, what a cool habitat really do like this I, I love the dome the dome is really fantastic let's have a look from the top here just look at that Ooh, not through the glass lady really really awesome work well done on the desert dome Absolutely amazing. Definitely made with the last pack. Gosh, I really wonder how much time this zoo took you to build. Uh, I think we came from that side. So now we only have those aviaries from the, from the beginning, right? I think we have seen it all. I'm going to go to the entrance building. Am I going the right way? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's go and have a look from the top. This was the desert dome. Where's the entrance again? Oh, here is the entrance. So oh, what is that? Just look how cool. Oh, you have the cassowary in here. People are so creative with these, um, with making these aviaries. It's something I have high on my list to do. It looks absolutely amazing. Wow. And everything is connected. So the cassowary, ooh, the cassowary can just walk from one side to the other side, I'm guessing. Gosh, that is so cool. How amazing. Okay, let's zoom out. Let's zoom out because this is how I started. Yeah, so it was zoomed out like this. And I was like, oh my freaking goodness. This zoo is humongous. Also looking at the FPS, but my oh my. This zoo surely is super inspiring. CJC91, thank you so, so much for giving us the honor to check out this beautiful zoo. Everyone, I highly recommend you and ask you to go to that Steam Workshop page and to give a big thumbs up at that Steam Workshop page and, and, and leave something nice for the creator because it's absolutely fantastic. And I highly recommend you to just download this one yourself and walk around it yourself. Like I can walk around in this zoo for hours and just see something new again. It's super inspiring. Very, very well done. Thank you so much again for sending this zoo. Really, really amazing work. And if you have a finished suit and you want me to check it out on the channel, do please do read the description down below of how you can send me your zoo as well. And who knows, I might be able to check out your zoo as well on the channel. 
please do leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and if you want to see more planet zoo content on the channel i definitely have you covered let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite part of this zoo what you like the most what area you like the most there are so many things here that inspired me let me know in the comments down below what inspired you of this beautiful zoo thank you guys so much for watching and i really do hope to see you guys all in the next one bye guys